What's going on everybody? Um, Steven here with Mod Your Vape. Today we are going to be doing a uh, juice review by um, a very awesome line. The name of the juice is Fields of Dreams. Hard to get that to focus in here. There we go. There we go, it's focused in there. As you can see, that's the label. It's got his family crest. The labels are nice and crisp and clean. It has the uh, nicotine strength on the side here, along with your warnings. I will be vaping it on three different atomizers. I have a uh, Tobe, a Stro, and a Little Boy that I'll be vaping it on. I looked over here, I got a um, Derringer sitting over here. But um, we'll go ahead with these three. They've all been freshly wicked, uh, new coils. I've saturated them all, let them sit for probably a good 20, 30 minutes. Vaped on the uh, Ancestry right here. Um, I got the flavor profiles brought up over here. What I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and read them off of this and then, you know, I'll give my my review on it and, you know, my flavor take on it. But, um, I mean, it's a really good line. He's put some time and love into uh, the juice here. This um, Heritage, I mean, that's that's a, a, a new vape all on its own right there. I mean, once people start jumping on that, that's going to be, it's going to take off. But um, I'll go ahead and jump into this review. I got the, um, this is Ancestry sitting on the Tobe here on the uh, Hexome. Um, let's see. Right now it's at about 4.7. The coil in here, I, uh, I want to say it's like a 0.26. I got a little ohm meter here. Yeah, 0.26. Hard to see. There we go. 0.26 on that. You can do the math. Like I said, this is sitting at 4.7 volts. Brand new batteries. Um, single coil. Go ahead and juice it up a little bit. It is a single coil Clapton. Um, I want to say 22 core with a 30 gauge wrapped around it, all A1 Canthal. Um, but as you can see, like I said, I got it on a toe. Both holes are open. I'm not worried about it. As you can see, I mean, the vapor production is just spectacular on the juice. Flavor on point, on point. I'll go ahead and read the flavor profile off here. This is uh, Ancestry. This is a very complex blend of a lot of creams and other ingredients, but bursting with blueberry. If you love blueberry and creamy vapes, add it to your arsenal. Right away, I get the uh, blueberry comes through right away. And then you get that, like you said, it's a complex creaminess that's, like whipped but custardy with a little sweet cream sorry for the focus here come on there we go I'm back one more drop of this kind of make this a short review but um I mean there's 
not much to say when you're reviewing juice except for giving the you know the flavor profiles of the juice and, and your take on what you're getting but um yeah the the blueberry is it's not in your face but it's right there i mean the moment you inhale it you get that blueberry right on the the tongue the back of the throat and then on the exhale is when you get the blueberry with the creams uh, me personally I definitely want to thank Larry for sending these juices out. Awesome, awesome, awesome job. We'll go ahead and jump into the next one. The other two atomizers are at about point one six one seven somewhere in there. So I'll vape them on an unregulated. <coughs> Go ahead with the little boy here. All right, I got the little boy sitting on here. Um, the wicking is uh, like a bow tie wicking. It's a 24 gauge. One, two, three, four, five, six wrap, dual coil. Comes in at 0.17. Um, got the coil sitting at an angle like you would for a dragon coils, but uh, got a lot of cotton coming out of the backside to touch down into the atomizer base, and then it's cut off, you know, pretty flush almost with the uh, front side of the coil, and um, doesn't allow a lot of spit back. You know, you get four or five big old pools off of it, depending on your lung size. But um, we're going to go ahead and jump into the Origin. Now I'll read it here. Origin is a rich cheesecake blend with raspberry. On the intake, you taste the cheesecake. Excuse me. And the ras cleanses your palate on the exhale. Uh, sure to be a favorite. I can definitely say it's a favorite. I'm a big cheesecake vape fan. I love any cheesecake. Strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, pineapple. But this right here, this is one of the best raspberry cheesecakes that I've tasted. Now right away on this one, you get the raspberry. You get a sweet a really sweet flavor I do get a really sweet flavor after I've exhaled and you know you kinda lick the chops um, but uh the cheesecake it's very subtle and it's on the exhale it's not subtle where you don't you can't tell it's a cheesecake but it's it's not really overpowering and it's not super in your face me personally I could do just a you know I could do just a little bit more cheesecake in this blend but um, I mean it is a spot-on flavor I could vape it you know all day long and you see with this type of wicking, I mean, you get no spit back, and I can just saturate the coils. Have a lot of juice down in the row that doesn't um, spit back into your mouth. And I, I place Origin right behind the, the Heritage. I mean, I'm not putting... Ancestry on a back burner by any means. I'd vape that. But these two, the Origin and the Heritage, bomb juice, man. Bomb juice. Really good stuff, man. And if you haven't 
head on over to uh, Field of Dreams Facebook page. I will put a link in the description. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drip one more time on the origin just because I can't get enough of the flavors. The blends, the blends are perfect. Not a one base in the blends are alike. All the bases are different. All three milligram Nick here for me. Man, brother. Good stuff, man. Good, good stuff. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump into the Heritage. I got it sitting in a Stro. This is a Clapton paralleled with 24 gauge uh, Riot Wire sitting down here. Um, comes in I think at like 0 .1615. To me, it really brings out the flavor in this uh, heritage here. Now I'm going to read heritage. It's a uh, sweet, smooth tobacco blended with custards and cloves. The closest thing to a true... I'm, I've am i never been able to pronounce the word darium, dejarium. I'm going to go with darium analog. The old school uh, cloves that were banned but um it's unlike anything you vape that's what he's got typed here and that's exactly what I'd tell you when you vape it you don't get a tobacco for those of you that don't like tobacco blends don't think oh well there's you know it's mentioned tobacco flavor in there by far no tobacco the tobacco I believe he used to bring together the the clove with the custards so that it wasn't so powering on the clove flavor unbelievable vape unbelievable I've been vaping it three days straight and I can't get enough it's just some bomb juice it's so close to a clove it's unbelievable. The first time I vaped it, I, I mean, I was taken back. I, I had to, like, smell it. I had a few drops on the finger to taste it. It's just, it's phenomenal. I could talk all day about it, but man, I could vape it in my sleep. Just some bomb, bomb juice, man. really really good man and I'm really digging this straw I just got it not too long ago Larry sent it over to me thank you again awesome awesome atomizer for those of you who haven't checked it out and don't own one check them out Freaking bomb, dude. Again, Larry, I want to thank you so much for sending the package, man. Awesome, awesome juice. Will spread the word everywhere I can, definitely. Again, I'll put a link to his Facebook page. It's Field of Dreams. You can search it up on Facebook. It'll pop up. I believe there's two pages. Excuse me. Um, and uh, the atomizer you can check out Sacred Mods on Facebook awesome atomizer comes in black 
uh, stainless steel, chrome, and I believe brass. Maybe wrong, but I believe it's brass. I'm gonna wrap this uh, review up. Awesome, awesome juice, Field of Dreams. I'll put the whole line in my vape arsenal any day, every day. I'm gonna vape the crap out of this juice. Um, everybody, vape safe. Educate yourselves, man, definitely. Educate yourselves. Peace.